Hello everyone, it's Marvel DC Fan back here with another Let's Play. Wow, that that feels really weird to say. <laughs> but anyway, uh, in case you haven't seen my new update video, uh, letting you all know that, you know, I'm gonna kick things into high gear again, you know, start making videos, uh, even though I can't really do anything for the review channel as of right now. Um, uh, not yet anyway. Uh, I figured, you know, we'd just do some stuff for the LP channel since it's been a while and I've been really inconsistent. But anyway, so uh, so f we're playing the Destroy All Humans remake. You know, uh, I was thinking of playing the original, but, you know, this one is just a little bit more, you know, uh, more user friendly, let's say. And uh, recently the Destroy All Humans 2 remake was announced. Um, you know, while also being leaked onto the internet two days before, but you know, <laughs> but, um, uh, so yeah, it's got me in a kind of, you know, destructive mood, you could say. And, uh, yeah, I figured this would be just a good starting off point from, uh, from, from the last LP. So anyway, let's, uh, let's, uh, let's get this, let's get this game rolling, shall we? Safe. There we go. I love that loading screen. I have it as my background for my uh, my PlayStation 4. Uh, humans of Planet Earth, be advised, while the experience has been upgraded, the content and historical record of the original invasion of the Furons remains a near identical clone. The story, words, images contained within may be shocking to the modern human brain. I love that. Hello, friend. Oh, this intro. Boy, it takes me back. Um, this is one of those games, the original version, where it was one of my favorite rentals. You know, we'd get this from Blockbuster, our, our local Blockbuster, which is no longer there. And, uh, you know, we spent uh, a healthy amount of time playing this, and also the second game, too. Like, I was, I was a fan, for sure. Even though I didn't really get that far in either of them, like, I still had a lot of fun, you know, flying around, killing humans, and uh, all that, so. Come on, baby, show us what you got. And, uh, you know, thanks to, to, uh, to this remake, you know, my interest was, you know, brought back. And, uh, you know, I remembered how much I loved these games as a, as a kid. You know, and now I've been playing them kind of religiously, <laughs> you could say. Um, I mean, besides this, I played the original versions of both 1 and 2. Um, and you know, I played the remake of this plenty of times. And yeah, it just, I cannot get sick of it whatsoever. But um, yeah, so you could definitely see the kind of graphical overhaul. Um, and also another thing is that they went for a more kind of cartoonish art style, which honestly, it works for, for this series and for these games so I don't mind the kind of the kind of shift and, and I mean they were doing this stuff you know for you know Big Willy Unleashed oh, and Path fool. of the Furon so I should never have sent you. I, I'm fine with this kind of shaking, new look you look a little, what's the word? and also the game just Constantly. looks amazing like it, this is a good Let's looking just game say I hope you turn uh, out to be just the model quality the lighting the shadows everything looks uh looks really good you lost me. Shall I tell you a uh, another thing that Few of they did for this remake use, was kind of the DNA patterns in our bring back like they more more they brought back the uh, the original voice acting That's at bad. first I wasn't really a huge fan of this, but uh, of course it's bad. I realized I later on that uh, of a you know it was pretty much the best way they could have done it. A planet seeded with pure and um, you know they use it to their good effect here with their more 
sort of dynamic cutscenes. You sent me so, to him, Crypto um, One Three Six, to a hostile planet, and he's it's just, disappeared. It's just a lot of fun. Like, I love the dialogue, even in this opening cutscene. Like, there's a lot of good jokes and like just exchanges between these two in particular. Um, you know, it's it's not really the kind of humor that's. Which for this era one. of games, you could say. Perhaps you're it's a little right more, like, juvenile and right. all that. But, but honestly, it really works, I gotta say. So. God, I love crypto so much. Ship. And Pox too. That's what I'm talking about. And yes, so Invader Zim and Carl planet? from Jimmy Neutron is uh, our friend uh, Orthopox here. I mean, he's probably the best, uh, you know, the my favorite character in the game. Uh, besides Crypto, I love Crypto so much. So yeah, now we're going to set off to Earth and to get our clone friend back our brother so <laughs> that'll be fun okay so how this is going to work is is just this is going to be just a straight campaign playthrough i'm not going to go for 100 percent. you know we're not going after all the probes we're not like we're not doing any of that um and even the upgrades, too. Welcome to my little laboratory. You may not have known this, but I flatter myself to be something of an inventor. I might in switch spirit, costumes might in between missions. Weapon and but, uh, we'll see. I don't, I don't want to go to the main menu. Alright. Let's start the first mission here. Get this, uh, get this showed. Destination Earth. <laughs> <laughs> that looks so dumb. So yeah, the uh, first area of the game, Turnip Seed Farm, and this is the only time we come here uh, for the for for missions. This is the only one in this location, and um, they did a really good job with uh, improving these areas. It feels really weird here because this place is so detailed and all that. I mean, you'll see it, but whoop, that uh, texture line. <laughs> Plan 42 from outer space. Blue Moon Drive-In Cinema. Man, I wish there was a, a drive-in theater where, where I live. That'd be, a, that'd be so much fun. And then you got your cows here. These these things <laughs> it's so stupid now one thing that bugs me about the you know them reusing all the dialogue like i'm it, it's it's fine but especially you can it's more prevalent in the game itself but it feels like um it's not really worked in properly. It just feels like they just stuck their recording in and uh, didn't really like give it much thought. Like here. Ortho box to Cryptosporidium one three seven. Come in, Cryptosporidium. Crypto here. How's the view from the safety of the mothership? Very funny. Let's it's like, just it's say weirdly I'm, glad I'm up here and you're down there. Loathsome little planet. Now, Crypto, to ensure this invasion runs smoothly, it is imperative we identify the dominant life forms on this world. Those lactating bovoids are likely candidates. All right. Surely you don't mean those foul smelling gas bags beyond the fence. Yes, I'm afraid I do. But they're covered in nipples. <laughs> now, Cryptosporidium. <laughs> Oh man. Oh, 
Sounds like somebody's upstairs. In crypto, right. do verify your son's atmospheric conditions. Get up. Alright, so we're moving around here. And uh you know, left stick move around, camera right, you know, that's all we working. We peer into the minds of lower life forms via the cortex scan. Rip the preliterate thoughts from their pathetic little brains. Moo? Primitive, yet profound. Scan another one. Again with the moo? I think these lactating bovoids are trying to fool us. Hmm. You might be right. They eat with their mouths. Ugh, I think I'm going to be violently ill. Attention, Earth creatures. <laughs> this planet is now part of the Furon Empire. Your benevolent masters welcome you. <laughs> At this time, we wish to abduct you for the purpose of scientific research. The procedure will be protracted and invasive. Do you have any objections? Speaking of, um, kind of just creature, juvenile humor, I am addressing you. we're Respond gonna get this here in a second. Vaporized. Yeah. <laughs> I don't care how many stomachs you have. I don't have time for this. With your arms All right. The astounding power of psychokinesis, Crypto. Psychokinesis. Find an object or creature, then lift it into the sky. Use so one change to, to the missions the in this game is uh, is that there's extra objectives. <laughs> Um, so throughout the month, there might be, say, like, one or two extra, you know, oh, things to do. Tell me we's having barbecue for dinner? Uh, mostly just, uh, that to collect That's our currency, which we're gonna find out here Martha, in a second. Give me the shotgun. Um, some of them unlock, uh, costumes. This looks like a job for the which I'll show off in fire. the extras video. And now we get extract and collect the brain stem from now we get the sapomatic and now so brains the are the currency for this game you use them for all right i was wondering when the next cutscene was gonna go Okay, as long as the shields have energy, they protect you from harm. The gauge showing the current charge appears to the shield is in full charge. When you get hit, touch water shield the plates. Some impacts, some yada yada yada. It's a red threat of death. Collecting brain stems reduce the shield recharged. Okay. Be merciless. Let none survive. So in case you need help killing humans, um. You know, you got a lock on here, which uh, helps. Uh, you can also, like, throw, like, you can use your psychokinesis while you're doing this. Uh, because you're holding down, so. Um, we got a call from Farmer Dixon over the other side of the state road. Said he heard some pretty strange noises coming from over this way. Little green spaceman! What is over that? A new silo? Electrocuted him with a big arm! Crypto! That human law enforcement officer is attempting an unauthorized entry of your spacecraft. If those mm. pea brains were to get their hands on your quantum deconstructor, they could rip a hole in the space time continuum! All right. Oh, the Furonity! Vaporize them, Crypto! Now you got the jetpack here, which is probably like one of the best modes of transportation. Besides the skate ability, the skate ability is really fun. My radar shows more humans approaching. Hurry to the 
Get in your flying saucer and annihilate everything in your path. Okay. Before we do that, I'm going to find a chicken and I'm going to kill the farmer's wife with it. Where is she? Oh, there she is. <laughs> That's a bomb! There we go. So yeah. Um, I just wanted to show off the the uh, the the side objectives, and also collect some uh, some some currency. Now we got the flying saucer, which is uh get a feel for the controls and then go ahead and start shooting. They really did their best to to uh, buildings, upgrade no this trace, sort of thing. It's a lot faster than the original game. Uh, you can change your altitude, which you can't do in the original version. And uh, one thing is you can also aim the laser down uh, downwards. Well that uh Got, uh... All right, now we're on the the final stretch of our uh, mission here, and I know we're a little bit over time, but uh, a stuff like that happens. So move out, man! Move, move, move! I don't know, but I've been told. I don't know, but I've been told. Joe McCarthy's good as gold. Joe McCarthy's good as gold. <laughs> oh, great. The human military industrial complex. We can't allow them to alert their leaders to our presence. Exterminate them! Now! Open fire! Alright. Crypto, I hereby give you official permission to destroy all humans! Now just murder Look everything. Out. There are more to the north in the bushes. Replenish your saucer shields by draining any human being. Superb! You want to talk about detail? Like, look at all these, uh, like, burn marks and stuff in the ground. And even the trees, too. Like, I just burnt that tree to a cinder. Final push! Wipe them out once and for all! Uh. Perfect! So one issue with these missions, the the they're for the most part the same, but you'll notice Pox will occasionally like berate you or Tell you, tell you did a good job, and he just never shuts the fuck up. It's, <laughs> it's, it's so upsetting. Uh, so yeah, just decimated everything. Did you see what I saw? You bet your sweet ass I did. What did you see? Little green man in a flying saucer wiping out the best infantry unit in the U.S. Army. <laughs> right. Good. Me too. Green? Not gray? Don't be a stiff. You know what it means? Absolutely. What? It means the papers got it right for once. Get on the horn to Silhouette. We've got the worst case scenario. Ooh, Silhouette. Think we're actually onto something? I don't believe it. Believe it. Roswell was only the beginning. The invasion is on. All right, that was the first mission. And uh, we did all the uh, objectives. So, um, yeah. John to Colin the Lake, killed the farmer's wife, DJ. Awesome. And then we got. <laughs> and now we got this. So let's go back to the mothership uh, for a second.
man, that looks so cool. They sell the, there's a metal plate version of that you can buy. We'll show off this cutscene too. Now then, I know what you're thinking. What can I, a lowly novice, do to help bring about the destruction of Earth and the inevitable reign of the Furon Empire? Well, I'll tell you. It was in the earliest days of the Empire we realized our species was doomed. Eons of waging war on inferior races with unregulated atomic weaponry had mutated our genes. We could not propagate due to our complete and utter lack of genitalia. <laughs> Fortunately, a Furon <laughs> ship happened upon Earth on its way back from destroying the Martians. Human society was young and nubile. Sailors on a foreign planet, letting off steam, one thing led to another. Long story short, every human being alive today has buried deep in his genetic code a strand of Furon DNA. Over the eons, we've learned to clone ourselves, but with each iteration, the information degrades, and the results are increasingly unpredictable. The Furon genes in humanity's DNA are ancient, uncorrupted, they represent the future of the Furon race. If only we can get at them. So yeah. Another thing besides finding our clone, you know, we need some DNA to uh A software upgrade, perhaps. No? How about your gun or your abilities? Mm? So yeah, here's all the uh the upgrade stuff and some of it is actually really useful and uh I love the I love the the skate ability. I love it so much. Um, but yeah, it's just uh, it very you know things like that. You can also upgrade the saucer too. These are pretty much like a lot of these. I think are kept over from the original game. Uh, I'm not quite sure on that, but uh, yeah. And then we have got the archives here. Uh, the Holopox deck, which you can re replay missions, the Fioran Handbook, just to, you know, if you need, like, a refresher course, you know, you can just go through there. So, uh, same with the Saucer, and uh, uh, here's a kind of dossier on all your, you know, the people you're going to be facing throughout the game. And, uh, yeah, stuff like that. And this here, this is for the concept art, which I'll show off. Uh, I'll show off in the uh, in the extras video, and of course all the costumes here. And uh, yeah, so all right. Well, that said, I am gonna bring this video to an end because we spent a lot of time here. <laughs> anyway, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share, all that fun stuff. I'll be sure to uh, be sure to tune in of tomorrow for the second LP that we're we're doing because yeah that's uh, that's going to be a fun one anyway have a great night thank you all so much for watching and don't forget to take care of yourselves see ya